So, so I thought today I thought I should wear this dress as I'm preparing to go to uh, graduation at UCT. But the first and the last time I wore this dress was in December 2018. My sister and I bought these dresses on the corridors of a mall in Joburg. And uh, I hadn't worn it. And I introduced for the first time the UCT annual awards where workers, cleaners, gardeners, academics, scientific officers, lab technicians can all come together under the same venue roof to be acknowledged and uh, for the excellent work that they're doing. Never been done before. And I introduced that. And I decided to wear this because I said, it must be a day when we, when people dress up, they, 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 they enjoy and we can celebrate them for their excellence. Wow, did this dress break some people in the colony. Uh, people started writing about how much this dress, how childish I am in the way that I'm dressed. Uh, that I'm dressed like I'm, a metric, uh, I'm going to a metric dance. And uh, I thought metric dance students don't dress up like this, guys. Never, ever, ever. And let me tell you, I was dressed up like this. Of course, I had a chain uh, that went up to me and then uh, golden earrings. And um, there were men who were wearing shorts. They went upstage. It wasn't about how you dressed. You needed to be comfortable. You needed to be as beautiful as you. And I decided to wear this dress. And I remember journalists writing that um, I'm showing no respect for academics who are getting um, the awards, blah, blah, blah. And, and I thought, you know what? Okay, these people have no style. Throughout my term, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dazzle them with my style. That's when I realized that these people were not, are not ready. They were not ready at all for me. And I mean the detractors, because there were a whole lot of other people who were hugely supportive. The detractors were not ready for me. And that's why they called me a narcissist, because you're supposed to be ugly duckling um, and, not, and not show up at all. And me, I always show up, show up. And throughout the term, by the way, throughout the term, I made sure I would and I did. And I continue to do that because I am me. But I thought today, let me wear the dress and go to campus and see if they'll fall apart again. Because uh, they, some of them were telling me that, look at your predecessor when he came here, when he left, he was aged. They thought I'm gonna age. And I think it was a problem that I wasn't aging as, as in the way that they wanted. I thought I'll leave the dress alone because it's touched you on your studio, but I'll wear other things. Uh, but today I'm wearing it. I want to see if uh, the campus will fall apart again. Uh, I'm wearing the same shoes. The only thing I couldn't find was the jewelry. Um, but um, uh, uh, this is me. Again, what a luxury it is to be me. Luxury to be me and dress up the way that I want and can write what they want. And whoever, uh, a shadow minister of higher education of the opposition party can write whatever they want on Twitter. Um, I am so free to be me. I don't even have a proper cleavage because my boobs actually are too small. So I don't even know what they were talking about, about cleavage. Um, and here's the thing. I mean, you are bothered by how someone looks, how someone was born. Then you have a problem, not me. You have a problem because you want me to look a little ugly. You're going to be waiting for a very long time. You didn't achieve it whilst I was VC. It don't happen afterwards. And... Um, uh, we keep going and young people out there know that you can do all of them. You can be smart, hardworking, highly achieved, nail everything, do your work, don't steal, don't drink alcohol, um, and still look good. We must do all of them so that the detractors can eat humble pie. So here we are. See you again next time. Bye-bye.